For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best settings for OBS. Now I had a comment, can you show a setting for a bad PC? Well, hopefully this video will help you because there's one step which will help people who don't have as much powerful PCs. And like I said in the last video, I'm going to be doing a series on OBS, so if you'd like to request a specific tutorial on OBS, then let me know in the comments below. And in addition to that, I'm actually using OBS to record, and I'm using the settings I'm going to be showing you in this video, so let me know how it is. So general, language pick your language of course, setting it's your profile so you can call it whatever you want to and then the rest you can leave it the same or it's completely up to you. Once you've done that click apply. On to encoding, I believe your CBR will be checked, make sure you uncheck that, your quality balance will be set to 8, make sure it's at 10, now the max bitrate is completely up to you, I'd stick in between 3000 to 5000 for the best quality. Everything else here you can leave the same, however for audio encoding I would recommend 128 to 192. Personally, I leave it on 128. Everything else, again, you can leave the same. And again, you need to apply it, and then we go to the broadcast settings. So for this part, yours will automatically be set to live stream. Come here and just change it to file output only. Now what this means, you choose where you want the file to save to. So when you're recording, you choose where you want to save it. So you would click browse, choose wherever you want to save it, and you can see it's going to be saved as an MP4 file. Call it whatever you want to, press save, and that's where it's going to save to and you can see the video I'm recording now is going to be called video once I'm done. Here is the replay buffer file path. Again, choose wherever you want to save that. You can create its own folder, you can put it wherever you want to, you can call it whatever you want to and then it will be saved. So once you're happy with everything there, again apply and then you can go to the video settings. And here of course we're going to be using custom. So if you want a 1080 resolution you're going to have 1920 by 1080. For the aspect ratio make sure it's at 16 by 9. But if you want a 720 video instead, it's going to be 1280 by 720 and again make sure it's at 16 by 9. Here you can have a resolution downscale, completely up to you. If you don't want to, just have it at none. But again, if you want to use these resolutions, completely up to you. You can see there it is right there, 1280 by 720, which is 720 resolution. And now YouTube also supports 60 FPS. So if you want 60 FPS, simply just import 60 there and you're good to go again. And that's it for that. Once you're done, make sure you click apply. And now we're going on to the audio. So the audio, very very simple desktop audio device. This means you're recording the sound system itself. So whatever's coming out the monitor or whatever's coming through your earphones, this will pick it up. Now usually it's going to be speakers. If you have different speakers plugged in and it recognizes it there, you'd select them. But mainly it's just this one right here. As for the microphone, this is my microphone right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then the rest of it, you can leave the same. It's completely up to you. And then once you're done, just click apply. Moving on to the hotkeys. Now, this is completely up to you. Personally, I don't use it, never have used it, and I wouldn't use it. You can use push to talk. So what that means, so if I press spacebar, I'm going to have to hold space in order for my mic to be heard. And again, you can set up something else. So let's say I want two to use it, and that is number two. That means I'll have to press number two. And that way my mic can be heard. It's good in some sense, but again, completely up to you. If you don't like it, you can click clear. And the way you do it, all you gotta do is click in a box and I'm press number five. That means now I have to press number five to mute or unmute my mic. Now moving down onto the broadcast settings, I guess this would be good for people who live stream. So again, hotkeys. So you want to start your recording, so you can have like S to start the recording. To stop the stream, you could have D, I guess. And then to start recording, stop recording, start replay buffer, you get the idea. You, all you gotta do is set keys that you find familiar or that you like. And of course, you don't even have to use it. It's completely up to you. And again, once you're happy with all them settings, just click apply. Now onto the advanced tab. So this part will help people who don't have the best PC and can't handle the best settings. So the first thing we need to change is come here where it says video x264 CPU preset. Now I recommend faster very fast and then if you got a good good pc come to super fast or ultra fast people who don't have the best pc stick to medium or fast they'll still have good quality obviously just not as good as the others but they'll still have good quality personally i'll stay on very fast because my pc can handle it so i'm okay with that 
Encoding profile, I'll stick to high, there's no need to have it as main. And you'll need to make sure your keyframe interval seconds is set to 2. Yours default will be set to 0, so just make sure it's at 2. And the final thing you need to change is the latency tuning factor. If it's not set to 20, set it to 20. Once you're done, apply it, and guess what? You're all good to go. That is the best settings for OBS, you're ready to record. And then just simply press OK, and now, OBS. Now, yes, this is what it looks like by default when you open up OBS and you're recording on OBS. Don't be confused by anything because once you actually record your monitor, it comes out nice. So that is how it will be. And like I said, I did record this entire video using OBS. That's the reason why I didn't change any settings while I was showing you it because it might have messed up with the recording. So yeah, hopefully you get an idea of how it looks. Hopefully it's good. Now you'll notice I never do my videos in 1080p but just for this video I did it in 1080p so you can see how it all look. Like I said I'm doing a series on OBS so if there's anything you want to request on OBS then let me know in the comments below and I'll be doing that for you as soon as I can. Be sure to go follow me on Twitter I'll keep you updated with when I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel I'll keep you updated on the best technology news and finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat which you I do throughout my day. So yes, thank you Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.